QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Create a backup file. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We're now going to make a backup file. The making of the backup file is a very easy thing to do. You can do it at the end of your work session. You can do it basically daily. But to do so, it will create another company file. So we want to review what will happen when we make up the backup file and what does the backup file look like as compared to the normal QuickBooks file. And then where should we be putting this backup file? So let's do that first. And this is probably the more difficult part of the backup system. Once you have this set up, then actually creating a backup can be very easy. And you can even set it up to be automatically doing a backup. So I'm going to minimize the screen here. You'll recall that we downloaded the QuickBooks system and we have the QuickBooks file. So this is going to be the actual QuickBooks program that's going to be on our computer. Note that unlike something like it, I'm going to have the analogy of Microsoft Word here, Microsoft Word, and then the documents that you would be open, which would be a Word document, is analogous, is similar to the QuickBooks program and the QuickBooks file that you would then open. So on the QuickBooks desktop version, we have the program on the computer in a similar way as you would have Microsoft Word on the computer. And then we have the actual data files that we will then open, which for QuickBooks are going to be QBW end files. And for the uh, Word, it would be a Microsoft document, a doc, DOC type of file. So normally, however, the difference being in QuickBooks, we simply just open the program and then find the file, which you can do in Microsoft Word. You can open the program and then find the file. But most people, when dealing with Microsoft Word, will simply double-click on the file, and therefore we're often more familiar with the actual document file for Word than opening the actual program. In QuickBooks, we're more familiar with opening the program than locating the file, especially if we always use the same file. So, so that's the first comparison we want to understand. And if I open up our file here, this is where we stored the file. You may not know where your file is located even on the computer if you started the new company file from scratch because QuickBooks will often put that in some kind of uh, location under like an Intuit folder on the desktop. We'll talk more about that when we make a new file from scratch uh, in, in our practice problem where QuickBooks will typically put that practice our new file. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna make these icons a little bit larger here, go into the view tab and make these large. So the actual data file we put right here. So if I go into the data file and I make this large too, I'm gonna make this large. This is our actual data file. Its extension is a QBW file. So every time we have been opening QuickBooks, I've been opening QuickBooks at this point in time. QuickBooks then goes to the last file, like go into the last Word document in a similar way. Uh, to Word, analogous to Word. It goes to the last thing we had open, which was this QBW file and simply opens it up. So we're working in this data file through this program. So, so then we have this added detail. This data file is huge. So we don't want to lose the data file. So then we have to support or back up the data file. If we were talking about analogous to Microsoft Word, we would just simply copy the Word document somewhere else. Why? Because the Word document's pretty small. I can just copy the entire thing and put it in some lo other location. The problem with a QBW file is that it's quite large because <laughs> it's got a whole database program in it. So I don't want to just copy. I don't want to just copy this QBW file because it's going to be too big. I want to zip it. I want to zip it and put it somewhere so that when I put it somewhere else, it doesn't just take up too much space. And that's what we're going to be doing with the backup file. It's going to zip up the data, put it someplace else. So the end result of the backup file then it will look something like this. If I go into the backup files here and make this large, it'll look very similar. But now it's got a QBB file. It's a backed up file. That means if I double click on this file, unlike the QBW file, QuickBooks will not be able to open. It won't be able to open from the backup file because although it's got the same data, it is zipped and you have to unzip it before you can use it. So why do we zip it up? Because the data files are huge, unlike a Microsoft Word file. I don't want to just copy the whole data file because it's just going to take up too much space. So we have to zip it and that creates a QBB file. So bottom line is that if you start off with no backed up file, <clears throat> you have the, the, the program, the QuickBooks program, and then you have the data file somewhere on your computer. And then when you create the, the backup file, you will create another file, which will be that QBB file that you're going to have to store in some other location. That QBB file then will be static to the point in time that you saved it, meaning after you in enter more data, 
into the QuickBooks system. It will change, of course, the QBW file because that's like the Word document that you're actually working in. The QBB file will not have any data changed in it because it has been backed up at a static point in a similar way as if you saved a Microsoft Word document and you simply copied it in another folder just to save it some other place. If you don't open that actual document and change it, it's not going to change with the other document that you open up and do change unless there's going to be unless they're linked in some way shape or form the backup file is not linked and therefore we can create static backup files as of a point in time which can be quite useful you can't do that so much in like the online side uh, but then and you can also back them up each day so we have to back up each day we add data to the file to make sure that we have a backup that has the most current data therefore backing up each time you use the software or on a nightly basis is often the best practice now also note that we're going to be backing up here to the same system. I'm, I'm going to put this, put it into that backup folder, which is on the same drive, the C drive, my computer drive, or I have an external drive, but it's on the same drive as the actual program and as the data file. You don't typically want that if you're backing up the system in order to not lose the data. If you're backing up the system in our case for practice work so that we can see them all in one place, that would be good, or if you want to start up in a practice problem in a static area, you can use the backups for that way, for that reason. But uh, you do not want to save it for backup purposes in case you, like the hard drive goes down, because then the two files would be on the same hard drive. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you will be then saving it maybe to an external drive, whereas you have the primary file on your C drive. And even then, in case the whole building burns down, you might want to have multiple external hard drives that you go home with possibly and take a drive with you so that you have like a copy at home so if the office burns down you have a copy someplace else or now of course you can back up online so if you back up online then you now have a backup file that will not burn down with the with the store <laughs> and then you can restore it now now a lot of times when you back something up and you zip something there's a concern about about unzipping it is it, is it easy to unzip? The backup files for QuickBooks are generally really easy to unzip. There is an issue in that you have to basically unzip in either the software that you are using or a later version. Uh, in other words, I can't, if I had a, a 2020 software, I could not unzip a file that was zipped in 2021. I have to have 2021 software or, or further. However, if I had a zipped file that was zipped in 2020 account QuickBooks software and I wanted to unzip it using a later version of the software such as 2021 then I can still unzip it uh, without a problem so it's pretty easy to unzip uh, the data it's, it's not usually typically a problem to to zip and unzip it's a pretty easy process to go through okay so keeping all that in mind we have this file open now and we're going to be saving this to our backup file which I'm going to put here to the QuickBooks backup file. We already have uh, the beginning balance file here. I'm gonna add another file to this, to this area. So let's go and do that. Opening up the QuickBooks system. Easiest ways you have to have the, obviously the company open that you're gonna be backing up. And you can imagine just being done with the data. You finish the data entry at the end of the day. And then you're gonna go to the file dropdown. You're gonna go to the, uh, the op you're gonna go to, to backup. You're gonna back up the company. And then typically you're going to go to create a local backup. And that means you're going to be backing it up to typically a local area, such as something connected to your computer, either the C drive or an external drive connected to your computer typically. And then if you want to set up the online backups, then you got the setup online backup option as well. We may take a look at that in more detail after we do the normal kind of backup to a, a location on your computer or something connected to it. So I'm going to create a local backup. So here's the create a local backup. It says, Make a backup copy of everything you need to, to recreate your company file in case of accidental loss or damage to your computer. Do you want to save your backup online or locally? So here, once again, you could save it online. And if you do so, get automatic online backups for your QuickBooks data and other important documents using Intuit's online backup uh, solution. That would be an added, added fee typically for that because, of course, when you save it online, you're saving it onto some server that is going to be online you're renting space on the server but if you save it to into its server that's typically a quite secure area to to put it so uh, that's an option you can have if you want to do that 
the local backups save locally to a removable storage device, such as a CD or USB flash drive. That's going to be the typical usage. Again, if you have the company file on your C drive, you probably want an external drive. I would suggest a USB flash drive at this point in time. I'm going to choose that, that item there. Now, I don't typically choose the options because that usually pops up when you go to the next item anyways. In other words, if I choose the option, you have the browse set up and your options down below. I'm going to close that back out. And if I go next, instead of using that, I still get that pop up. So whether you hit next or options, then it, it gives you basically that options type of screen. Now, obviously, when we say browse, we're going to look for some location to put this thing, hopefully an external drive rather than the C drive. And then the options down, down below say add the date and time of the backup to the file name that's really a useful thing to do because if you're backing up the same company file day after day then everything else is going to be the same the only distinction will be when did you back it up and obviously when you restore a file your goal is to restore the file at the point in time that you want to that you want the data to be seen at that point in time so and that's really nice it could be really nice to have your backup files for you know save for like a week's worth of time or something so that if you run into data that was messed up you can actually go back to a prior, previous period in that static backup file before it got messed up and see what, kind of see what happened from that point forward. So I would keep that checked. Limit the number of backup copies uh, in this folder to three. So this is the default of three. You may want to increase that because there's two kind of goals to the backup file. One is to make sure that you have your most current data there. And that means that you only need one to three you know, backup files in order to do that. But the other reason that the, the desktop version could be useful for the backups is in case there was an error that, that you want to go back before the error happened to kind of figure out what happened. If you wake up the next morning and say, man, I deleted something or I did a transaction. I don't understand how it, you know, what it did to the financials. You might go to the day before that and look at it. So you might, if you had like a couple of weeks worth of, of items here. Or, or you know even longer than then you can go back in time and kind of figure out what happened you can look at something before the transaction happened so three would be the minimum to 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 make sure that you have the current data the backup files will be compressed and zipped but even a zipped quickbooks file is somewhat expansive i mean it could take up a good deal of space however if you have an external drive that's that's dedicated to your backup files those things can be quite large for a fairly reasonable price and they can hold a whole lot of backups. <laughs> so you can, you can back up more than three if you, if you so choose. So then, uh, and that means if you, whatever the number here, it'll kind of automatically delete the prior backup that you have and then replace it with a new one. So you always have like the current three backup files. Remind me to back up when I close the computer file every, every four times. So your system of backing up, how often do you want to back up? I, I would back up at least, I mean, if you're using the QuickBooks file every day, I would back up every day. If you're using the Quick, QuickBooks file periodically, then every time you use it, I would back up at that point in time. Uh, and, and so, but at least, so, so I would have the reminder, you know, basically every time does it want you to, to back it up. So, but in any case, select an option to verify that your computer uh, data is okay. That is not corrupted when you save. So complete verification, that's the recommendation. I would keep that, keep that there unless it's taking a lot of time or messing things up, and then you would choose some other kind of verification. I'm gonna go to the browse. This will of course have a browse dropdown. This browse dropdown is in like a dropdown type of format, which I don't like as much, but notice I can, even if I choose like just the, de like I can find my location within here with these little dropdowns, and I wanna put it under the GGG backup file, and then I wanna put it into the, um, to to actually i want to put it into this ggg data file and then i want to put it into the uh, backup file right there so you can do it that way but this drop down feature is kind of weird and like if i just want to say hey i would like the normal browse feature then i'll bypass this this screen i'll just go hey i'm just going to go to the desktop right now because that's the easy thing to see and then i'm going to say okay and then when I hit next, it'll give me that browse screen again before it actually saves it. And I can change the location. So I'm going to say OK right now. And then it, it tells me this default says, you, uh, you've you told us to save the backup copies to the same hard drive, the C drive, that holds your company file. We do not recommend this because I'm trying to save it to the same location that the file is on. And the point is that they're saying, hey, look, if, you, if the, if the uh, hard drive crashes, your backup file is going to crash along with the data file. But this is a practice problem. So I'm going to say, okay, I know that I'm going to use the location. 
So when do you want to save your backup file? Typically now, that's usually what you do, but you might have save it now and schedule future backups. So if you want to schedule the backups, you can do so. Only schedule future backups. You can go to the scheduling option to schedule the future backups. So I can say, I want to save it now. And then notice once again, it gives me my, where do you want to put it screen, which I last time I left off at the desktop. So now I got one that I can, that's easier for me to see. I don't have the little triangle drop down. So I just go to here and then I'm going to say, I want to put it in my GGG data files. And then I want to put it into the QuickBooks backup files. So right there, I already have one there. Now I'm going to save another one. I got the timestamp that looks good. So it's going to give me the warning again, because I changed the location that I'm saving it on the same drive. I'm going to say, I know, but I'm going to use this location. It might take a little bit of time to do the backup file. So it's zipping the backup file. It's creating another file, a separate file, which is now zipped and compressed that will save your data as of this static point in time. So QuickBooks has saved the backup of the company file. So that looks good. That's where the location is. Okay, let's go check it out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to minimize the screen here and take a look at the backup file. So notice when QuickBooks opened back up, no, of course it opened back up still opening up the QBB file. So the QBB file is still open, not the backup file. If I minimize this and, so, and I go back to my data file, we still have the, the software hasn't changed. That's like the program that opened. It's still opened in the data file, which is the QBW file. That's the file that we're actually going to be changing from here forward. And any changes I make, any data I input from here for, forward will not be included in the backup file. And therefore, if I want them backed up, I need to make another one. And then the backup file that was created is now going to be in this QuickBooks backup file. And it now created this items, get great guitars, navigation, and it put the the uh, timestamp on it, which is again, very nice because all the names will be the same going forward, except for the date, <laughs> you know, will change as, as we go forward. So when, when I want to use the backup file, I need to know where it is. It needs to be on a separate location. So it doesn't crash with the data file, hopefully. And I need to know the date so that I can pick up the most current backup file that I need or whatever date that I want to go back to. So there, that's the normal process that we have. Obviously, if you want to set up the online backup files, we saw a system for doing that uh, within the normal backup process. Going to the file dropdown, you can go to the uh, backup and you can go to this create backup and it asks you to set it up here. So if you go to the online backup, uh, you can find details to try and learn about you know the, the online backup uh, system. Let's take a look at that. So here we have it, and and then the monthly plan for your for your entire PC they say is nine ninety five uh, per month, and and so on. So obviously they're going to be billed on this because again you're storing it somewhere on the cloud. So you're you're using the on cloud storage, and they're also going to make the online process possibly an automatic pro an automatic process. But there are other options to save it on online, of course. So if you have if you have your backup file here and you just want to put it somewhere online then you can you could take this back backup file and put it on anywhere you have stored so if you i mean possibly if you have like a, a google account you have some limited space of of storage where you could save it on on your on your google drive you want to make sure it's a secure location and whatnot but you know you got like a a dropbox type of area or a OneDrive with microsoft office are types of things that will often have online amazon prime will often have some uh some storage that you might put might have access to some online storage where you could just take this this backup file you might it might be more difficult to back it up there it takes an added step to take that file and and put it into the on put it into the cloud wherever that cloud storage is but there are areas that give some limited amount of free storage on a server on the cloud or that um that you can pay for and compare your price in order to do so